you never know with a Dell desktop what you're gonna get. Sometimes they're just incredible. You can upgrade them as much as you want and as they become cheaper, they're the sort of thing that you look for like on the side of the road or like at an office auction or something like that. So you can just huck a GPU in it and awesome, you're off to the races. Other times you can do almost nothing and you pay a premium. I don't know where this is gonna land, but hopefully it's in the former. So this is the Alienware Aurora R10 and let's get into it. I wonder if we got a mouse and keyboard. I was looking at the configurator and they are a $0 option to add on. Looks like it, excellent. Up top here, we have a mouse, which looks like it was supposed to stay in there, but did not. Power cord, and we have a keyboard. Low profile RGB mechanical gaming keyboard, cherry reds. Oh, wow. That's pretty sick for a $0 option. I actually like those a fair bit. If I'm honest, they feel kind of like a just really long travel laptop keyboard. Huh. Well, I don't think that a lot of people that get this will be mad about this keyboard at all. I don't know how to feel about the design, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's like a Dyson fan, or like a Ramjet, or kind of portal-y. Hey, hey, hey. It's not going to offend anyone, even if it might not be quite your cup of tea. Also, these peels are fantastic. You can see here that they have a bunch of cutouts. If someone doesn't take it off, they don't just choke their PC out. How you do it. <laughs> I totally don't get ASMR, so I have no clue what like sets people off. I don't know if you pay a premium over getting like a normal desktop for the Alienware one, but I would certainly pay a bit of a premium just for all of these peels here. Wow. All right, so I guess now we can start it up after our sponsor, PIA. With PIA, you can browse the internet anonymously and avoid getting exposed. It encrypts all of your internet traffic and uses a safe protected IP. You can connect up to five devices on Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Linux. You can try it risk-free with their 30-day money-back guarantee at the link below in the description. Ooh, kind of loud. Nice bit of air coming out of here. This is much more kitted than what we asked for. So here we actually have an AMD Ryzen 9 3950X. So that's 16 cores, pretty much the best processor that you can get that's, you know, for consumers and not for like workstations. We also have 64 gigabytes of RAM. It is a 2666, so it would be nice to have a slightly higher speed instead of that much capacity. Like if you're looking for gaming, you might want to go for like 32 gigabytes at a higher speed than 64, but oh, whatever. It's 64 gigabytes of RAM, that's pretty sick. We also have a two terabyte Samsung NVMe SSD. And to top it all off, we have a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. So she's powerful. She's a real powerful one. <laughs> if the cooling system can handle this computer, you know that any other spec, she's gonna be fine. Let's take a little look at the IO here. So on the front, we have USB type C along with three USBs and headphone microphone. So that's Pretty sick, actually. Around the back, we have optical audio and what I think is a subwoofer out, so that's pretty cool. We also have uh, 10 USB type A ports and another type C back here, along with an ethernet port and three display ports, HDMI, and the VR out USB type C thing. Oh yeah, there's also audio out for the like five point stereo thing. Does anyone actually use those? Anyway, we are getting amazing network speeds, even for, that's a gigabit, 113 megabytes per second down. That's pretty sick. Hilariously enough here, our internet is good enough that it's CPU bound on how fast your downloads go. So having the, you know, good old 3950X, which is actually at like 25% utilization or like 40, just downloading Doom. It's pretty sick that we can actually take advantage of that. All right, so let's see how it does for the CPU temp. Running the good old seven zip benchmark here. We're only seeing up to 70, that's pretty good. This thing is liquid cooled, although liquid coolers aren't always your best friend. This one seems to be though. Maximum of 76 degrees and it looks like it's leveling off closer to 70. I'm impressed, I have to say. I was kind of expecting this to be a bit of a hot boy. All right, that's enough of that. On to doom. As an absolute shocker to no one, an RTX 2080 Ti plays games good. Uh, where the heck do I go? Why do I need to start on platforming? This is just the absolute worst. So yeah, this is pretty freaking sick. We're looking at a pretty solid 180 FPS on Ultra Nightmare 
1440p, really no complaints whatsoever. I don't think we're learning anything super valuable from finding out that this gaming system that is basically the absolute best that you can get is really good. GPU got up to a maximum of 81 degrees. Okay, so it's not gonna be super happy. Although I guess, what can you really do? It looks like it's taking in air from right here. I think it's a very standard cooler that we have on there. So it's kind of about what you get out of a 2080 Ti. This looks like a desktop that has pretty good cooling, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. The real test though, comes when we get inside of it. Are you actually going to be able to upgrade this thing like a normal PC or are you kind of just stuck with what Dell gave you? So you just take out one screw here, pull on that and it looks like it gives you access to, okay, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very less than conventional layout. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter for the thermals because air is coming in here, shooting out there. Anything for the GPU would be coming in the vent that was right here and out and as for the CPU, looks like it would probably be drawing in here and a bit up here. And then there's a radiator around this area. So you just push these two little tabs up and all of this moves away. Cage for a hard drive here, cage for a hard drive there, or I guess SSDs if you so please. We also have a hard drive bay up here at the front. We also have only one 8-pin CPU connector, so you're not gonna be able to overclock this chip like you could with like a $500 motherboard. As for the cooling, we have this pretty standard looking AIO with an Alienware logo on it here. It goes up to 120 millimeter radiator in the top. It looks like it has kind of like a Delta servery fan of sorts. And then in here we have another PCIe, only an 8X slot and two fours. Probably want a couple 16Xers, but at the same time, SLI's dead. What else are you going to need all that power for? You can still put like a 10 gig card or whatever in here if you want. My impressions of the inside overall are quite good though. Like as someone who has upgraded Dells in the past that were really poorly designed for upgrading, this looks like you'll have a much easier time going about it. Like it still isn't quite the same as like if you built your own computer, but at the same time, if you only want a pre-built now, at least you have the option to upgrade it in the future instead of just finding out you're screwed. Does it say what the wattages of this power supply on it anywhere? I'm pretty sure that we got the 1000 watt model. It was manufactured on November 6th of 2019. I can tell you that, but I can't tell you much else based off of what's on it. This guy right here as spec comes in at just over $4,000, which honestly seems pretty reasonable given how OP it is. Although now we get to find out if that actually makes sense compared to buying your own desktop or like building your own desktop. We did have the PC part picker here and it looks like the total is $3,579. You're definitely paying a premium for this guy, but it's not all that bad, really, especially when you consider that you're also getting like a pretty good keyboard and a mouse. So that closes the gap to only what, like two, three hundred dollars. For that, you get a warranty. It's assembled. It just shows up at your door. Me personally, I would build a PC because I like doing that. For you, it's kind of up to you. This is like quite a compelling machine. There's no real complaints here. Good job, Alienware. Just that. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day. See you later. Get subscribed, like it. Anthony wants to do a video. Goodbye.